Good Monday morning to you. Holy cow, look at it. it's almost the end of the year. So it's time to talk taxes and investing. Uncle Sam hits us with seven different tax brackets. I'll go through them quickly. 10, 12, 22, 24, 32, 35, and 37%. Now you pay a percentage of tax up to a cap and then it increases to the next cap and so on. This is called a progressive tax system. Your taxes rise as your income increases through two or more tax brackets. So let's take the term marginal tax tax bracket. You've heard of this, but what is it? Well, your marginal rate is the highest tax rate you pay. So if you're single and earn over 39,000, married and filing jointly making 78,000, or head of household making 52,000, your marginal tax bracket is 22%. Knowing your marginal tax bracket matters when it comes to investing for things like, say, bonds. The kind of bonds you buy will have tax consequences, both state, federal, and even local. So this is a conversation that you need to have with your fee-based financial planner before you start investing, and especially if you're going to do it at the end of the year. We have more reading on the Money Money page at clickondetroit.com. Money Monday is brought to you by Northwood University. How to think like an entrepreneur. Perfect. Nice work. Congratulations. Welcome to the team. You deserve your promotion. Thank you. We had another great quarter. Bikers, they're different, and so is motorcycle accident law. If you've been hurt in a motorcycle accident, you need a law firm with lawyers that ride. A law firm ready to handle your motorcycle case. And that's us. Why? Because these are our lawyers. Lawyers that ride. That's the Bernstein Biker Advantage. 1-800-CALL-SAM. Local Ford Traffic is sponsored by Wallside Windows. Right now, get half off every window plus no interest until December 2024 and no down payment. Call now or schedule at wallside.com. All right, welcome back, everybody. It is 613, and this morning, local Olympian Clarissa Shields is linked to a police investigation. Yes, the two-time gold medalist boxing champion was supposed to get her hometown professional debut over the weekend. A lot of hype leading up to this, and then the whole fight was canceled, Jason. But the fight is far from over, as Shields' opponent is calling her and her team out, calling them classless. This follows an attack that happened Friday night during the weigh-in. Shields was scheduled to fight Ivana Habazin of Croatia in Flint Saturday for super welterweight the title. The fight was going to air on Showtime but during the pre-match ceremony an argument broke out and Habazin's trainer Bashir Ali was punched in the face by an unidentified man who then ran off. Ali was taken to the hospital. We're told he underwent surgery suffering broken bones in his face. The attack led to the cancellation of the fight. Shields spoke out afterwards, calling the attack inexcusable and said the attacker was not somebody from her team. She also issued a statement saying, quote, my heart is with Coach Ali, a coach who has given his heart to the sport and to so many fighters over a long career. She also asked for her uh, fans to join in praying for Ali. But her opponent isn't looking to make nice after the attack. In an interview, Habazin said, Clarissa has a big mouth and the people around her, like Cl Clarissa, are always looking for trouble. Clarissa and her team are classless. She ended the interview saying that the day in the ring will come soon enough. No word on when that will happen. As for who threw that punch? As for who threw that punch this morning, we are looking to working to learn more about a possible arrest in that case. As soon as something happens that changes the game here, we'll get back to you with that. Back to you. All righty. Well, we know hype like that anyway between two teams against each other and boxing can It's intense. To, it's intense. It can lead to more ticket sales. So, I mean, it's obvious this man really was hurt, but we'll have to see how it all plays out. Mm. Okay. Sometimes it plays out into the fighter's favor. All, All right. right, let's get over to Brandon, talk about our forecast for today. Sounds like it's going to be another beauty. Going to be a knockout. Uh, 
Thank you very much. Uh, that's for sure. We have a beauty. Yesterday was really nice. Started with the rain, got into the sun. Today we start with the clouds and no rain and we'll get into the sun. Our sun rises in about an hour and 20 minutes with some high wispy clouds. Should be some good looking sun rises. So I wanna see those on storm pins, please. Sun sets tonight at 7.05 p.m. Here's a look at some of the temps out your door. We have cloud cover over us, keeping numbers from dipping down too cool, but it is 48 Ann Arbor, 51 in Howell, double nickel. 55 in Troy and temperatures will bounce back nicely may still lose another degree or two through the morning so that light jacket weather early 64 though at noon a nice blend of sun and clouds and eventually mostly sunshine 70 a warming wind out of the southwest 5 to 15 could gust 15 to 20 here and there but Really not a big deal. The southwest wind is not cranking up the humidity. It is keeping our numbers very similar to what we saw yesterday. And you can see the clearing line out here across northwestern lower up into the UP as well. So cool front pushing through. We'll feel the effects of that more so overnight into your Tuesday and Wednesday as temperatures are just a little bit cooler tomorrow. But clouds peel away today and we get into that sun and a beautiful fall stretch here. Classic recipe for great fall foliage, cool overnights, sunshiny afternoons, and we've got it for you. 70 today, 40s on your Tuesday and Wednesday mornings, but then middle and upper 60s through the afternoons, Tuesday, Wednesday, back into the 70s on Thursday, and I think we've got a little rain coming our way through the afternoon or evening Friday. How that could affect some high school football games. We'll have to wait and see a little bit, see how that pans out. Right now, Kim is here for live traffic. Last Monday morning, it was a wet start. Today, we're a little better. Yeah, not dealing with wet roadways, so that is good news for your commute. No accidents to get around either. It's been a pretty quiet morning for the most part. Great way to start off a Monday. Let's talk construction. Over on I-696, we do have the orange barrels out on the westbound lanes between Van Dyke to Mound. Only one lane will be blocked there between 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. And then over on eastbound I-94, right at Woodward, one lane open there. This is between 8 p.m. and 5 a.m. So if you travel during the overnight hours, you may see a slowdown in that area. This is also a nightly project that will continue for the rest of the work week. Now let's take a look at your 1-800 call Sam Trapper shot to give you a better view of those dry roads. This is I-75 right at 12 mile here. As you can see, traffic volumes are starting to pick up just a little bit, but you can see that nothing will slow you down except for maybe that construction, but things flowing pretty nicely in this area at this hour. Back to you. Slow already at 618 in the morning. Oh, thank you, Kim. All right. In today's consumer headlines, despite controversy, that film Joker is laughing all the way to the bank. Let's get to Maribel Aver joining us now live at NASDAQ and did pretty well at the box office. No joke. Good morning, Rhonda. Joker set a box office record for an October opening week, and the film raked in over 93 million in the U.S. and Canada. Now, there was widespread fear that the movie could inspire violent acts. As a result, there was heightened security across the nation during the movie's opening. The fear was prompted by memories of a shooting that took place in a Colorado theater back in 2012 during a screening of a Batman film. Many Chinese companies are severing ties with the Houston Rockets. The companies were not happy after the basketball team's general manager announced his support for Hong Kong's pro democracy protests. Teams manager Daryl Morley posted an image of t uh, on Twitter that read, quote, fight for freedom, stand with Hong Kong. Uh, China's consulate general in Houston called on the team to, quote, clarify and immediately correct the mistakes. A fan favorite makes a triumphant return. Legendary McRib is back in McDonald's restaurants today. The McRib, which has been making annual menu appearances since 1981, is a boneless pork patty smothered in tangy barbecue sauce. It's topped with raw onions and tangy pickles and served on a hoagie-style bun. The item is only available for about a month a year. Not all stories have it either. That was created, that has really created the McRib's cult like fan base. You know, Rhonda, it's really about the sauce. That's ah, what it's about. Yeah, it, it usually is <laughs> when it comes to barbecue. All right, sounds mm -hmm. good. Thanks, Mirabelle. Time now 620 and still ahead. Gas prices are on a bit of a roller coaster ride across the street. I guess you could say we're going to update you on the price at the pump.
coming up in just a little bit. But first, a thief's very good attempt at stealing a flute. You will just have to hear this one to believe it. We're back in a moment. Mm, mm, mm. Local 4 Sports is brought to you by Randazzo Heating and Cooling. Wayne State University is offering a free program to help veterans prepare for college. It's called Veterans Upward Bound. Contact us today to get enrolled in a free eight-week college and career preparation course with a focus on computer skills, math, science, writing, grammar, Spanish, public speaking, or study skills. This is a great resource for veterans who are coming off a long break from the classroom. Call 313-577-9710. Find us on Facebook or visit us at educatingvets.com. On the next Live in the D, we're to taste hundreds of fabulous wines in the heart of Detroit. Plus, the cool new way to shop that can save you big. Today at 10 a.m. on Local 4. A do-over, a second chance. There are a lot of times in life when you could fail and try again. An injury case isn't one of those. That's why I give it my all. My clients have one shot, and I make it count. Call 855-MIKE-WINS. The rule of three states. Things that come in threes are inherently more appealing. We couldn't agree more. Three trucks, one GMC. GM employee program participants with a current GM lease can get this low mileage lease on this 2019 GMC Canyon Denali for $295 per month, zero down payment, and $295 due at signing. I called Aspen Dental because I had a dental emergency. They assessed it right away. We're gonna get you out of pain right now and be able to keep the tooth because that was really important to me. She sat down, this is what we're looking at. Financially, can you work with this? She didn't try to focus on anything that was unnecessary. She's like, let's get you comfortable now. That was being treated royally. At Aspen Dental, we're all about yes. Like yes to payments on your timeline, not ours. Yes to zero down and zero interest. And yes, we're all about the royal treatment. Call or book online at AspenDental.com. The fall mattress sale at Art Van Furniture and Mattress continues. Save up to $1,000 on top name brand mattresses. Tempur-Pedic, New Eye Comfort, Beauty Rest, Stearns and Foster, Serta, Sealy, all with a free power base upgrade. Get 0% financing up to 72 months, free delivery, and free TVs. The fall mattress sale at Art Van Furniture and Mattress and all Pure Sleep stores. Shop it today. Whatever you want, whatever you like, whatever you want. Hi, I'm Mike Morse. I had Michigan's largest personal injury firm but that might not matter to you. I really care about this community in this city, but that might not matter to you. What should matter to you? I win. Call 855-MIKE-WINS. This week, today's October to Remember rolls on. We're celebrating International Day of the Girl with a special announcement from Michelle Obama and a live performance from Alessia Cara, plus Priyanka Chopra Jonas and Jimmy Fallon. Don't miss a morning this week on Today. All right, welcome back, everybody. It is 623, and this cheeky thief was caught in the act trying to steal a flute from a music store in Wisconsin. Uh, so take a look here at the video. It shows the man walking around the store with the flute stuffed in the back of his pants. Now, oh, ain't that nasty? He didn't get far as the store's owner. Uh, the store's owner's mother actually confronted him before he could walk out the door, and she took that flute back from the back of his pants. The owner says that there's no way that they could sell. <laughs> look, look at this. There's no way they could sell this. Uh, I guess you can call it a fine-tuned instrument. Uh, so they turned it into a lamp. Cause why not? I guess. I mean, what else were they going to do with it, Brandon? God help the person that has to turn that thing on and off. Hope they wash their hands. Well, yeah. I mean, that's why they changed it from a flute, which, right, we don't know which end. All right, 54 degrees with mostly cloudy skies, but it will become sunny through the morning. We have low to middle 60s at noontime, and again, more and more sunshine. 70 this afternoon, a little bit cooler Tuesday, Wednesday, Kim. Thank you, Brandon. Well, we have a uh, look at your commute this morning, and it's been a really quiet one on the roads, dry roads to start off the day, and no accidents to get around. So great news for your Monday morning commute. Now let's talk about gas prices. You will be paying slightly less, just a little bit, uh, to fill up your gas tank this morning. Triple A reports gas prices here in Metro Detroit have decreased one cent from last week. The average price for a gallon of regular unleaded is $2.69. Now that's 29 
29 cents less than this time last year. All right. All right. Thank you, Kim. 625 is your time and new at 630. Local stories from Oregon Township, also Hamtramck and Livonia this morning. Plus, local churches left on edge. And now this man is facing some pretty serious charges. But first, they're off to a hot start. Highlights from the Red Wings home opener next in sports. This is Mike. He runs one smart tomato farm. These are the fish he feeds that feed the tomatoes. Smart. This is the technology that helps them grow. And this smart farm is totally organic, which means no GMOs. Mike doesn't like GMOs, but he sure loves H2O. Aquaponics farming? Now that's smart. Like choosing priority health insurance. It's how smart people access a network that includes 97% of primary care doctors in Michigan. Priority health. Think smart. Live smart. They're one-of-a-kind stories of special people, places, and events in and around the city. Uniquely Detroit, sponsored by BJ's Wholesale. Uh-oh. What? I think I forgot to lock my Buick. Got it. I bet you lunch you can't make it in there. I'm thinking sushi. Alexa, ask Buick to start my SUV. You can do that. You can do that? You can do that? Yeah, with the Buick. What? At the heart of every Buick SUV is you. Or GM employee program participants with a current eligible GM lease can get this low mileage lease on this 2019 Encore without automatic parking assist for $149 a month. Good morning. The Red Wings are off to a hot start to the season. A win in game one on the road and then a big win at home last night. Red Wings trailing 2 0 in the second. Wings on the power play here. Anthony Mantha's one timer from the top of the circle finds the back of the net and the Red Wings are in business. Later in the period, Mantha's second goal of the evening was a beauty. Gets his feet moving around the defender right to the net in the paint and he scores this goal to tie the game at two. Let's go to the third now. Larkin throws a backhander to the net. Save is made, but Mantha is there playing cleanup. That was good for a hat trick, and man, the hats were flying, and uh, people sure loved it on home opener night, but Mantha wasn't done yet. He unties this game less than a minute to go. Another one-timer, his fourth of the game. So, it was Mantha four, Dallas Stars three. You know, I love the guy. I think he's a great teammate. Uh, you know, he's playing well right now, and when he's hot, he can be one of the best in the world, so you're seeing that right now, and uh, um, it's fun to play with. The thing about Anthony is he's a, he's a good person who cares and he wants to be a really good player. Like that, that has never been anything that, that I've questioned throughout my time with him. I've been with him a long time and, and he cares a bunch and he wants to be good. He's also a guy that, uh, you know, he's a conf when he's confident, he's exponentially better and, and you're seeing that right now. I mean, we talked about it last night. Confidence is just there since last year. Uh, playing with Burt Larks. I mean, I can't praise them enough. Uh, they're, they're playing on real hockey right now. Really nice start for the undefeated Red Wings. Next up, the Ducks on Tuesday. Have a great Monday. You're in an auto accident. Then you call a lawyer, and you rely on lawyers to protect your interests. At Figer Law, we take on that responsibility every day. I won't back down, give up, or give in, ever. A Culligan drinking water system uses reverse osmosis to filter harmful contaminants. Get peace of mind for just pennies a glass. Get started for $25 per month today. Let the experts at Hagopian make your carpet, furniture, and tile look like new. Our purple trucks are in your neighborhood every day. So call us at 1-800-Hagopian or visit OriginalHagopian.com. Hagopian. Expect the best. Expect the purple truck. Not giving in. Auto and truck accidents are serious, and those responsible should pay. When I take your case, you won't pay me a dime until I win, and you know I won't back down, give up, or give in, ever. Local Ford Traffic is sponsored by Wallside Windows. Right now, get half off every window plus no interest until December 2024 and no down payment. Call now or schedule at wallside.com. Live from downtown Detroit, home of WDIV and Click on Detroit, Local 4 News Today at 6.30 starts now. Turn for the worse. Contract talks between General Motors and the UAW hitting some major speed bumps over the weekend, which means the strike will go on. And wedding photos stolen. Newlyweds pleading for help after their wedding photographer has all of their gear 
including all of their pictures stolen. And with some sunshine today, we expect those numbers to start heading up. I need some of that Price is Right. Do -de -dee -dum, do -de -dee -dum, do -de -dee Eventually, <laughs> it all falls off the map. <laughs> up and down in your weather cast. Everyone's looking what? at me like, how did you know that song? I, but if you grew up watching The Price is Right, which I did, apparently, I still have that game on there. Apparently, I have not lived because when he started, I looked at... Listen, she's a TV news anchor. She runs a foundation, and now she's also an accomplished yodeler. <laughs> I was, I looked at her like, what? A woman of many talents. What Clearly, can I say? Mm -hmm. you need to drop an album. <laughs> it's 6:31, Maybe I can everybody. Do a backup. Hey, a one of your next album. I'm, I'm down with it. Let's make it happen. <laughs> Yole, oh, the cliffhanger. It was Am I the like, only one who has no, never heard God, this song? No. And then he would crash Our over the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to watch The Price is Right today. TPIR. Man, grew up on that. Uh, what's the, the Plinko? I do yeah. know that. Okay. What other games do we know? I don't know. Here we go with your numbers outside your door right now. On the cool side, but could be cooler. If we had fewer clouds, we'd be seeing more 40s out there. Right now it's 48 Ann Arbor, 53 in Monroe, 54 at Metro Airport. And numbers on their way up nicely, especially through 8 to 10 a.m. when we start to see again more and more sunshine busting through those morning clouds. But sun and clouds at noon bring 64. Highs will be right around 70 degrees with a warming wind out of the southwest. 5 to 15 occasionally gusting a little bit more. Uh, last Monday we started the day with some drippy weather. We have the clouds, but Kim happy to report the clearing line is not too far off. It's just clouds to get us going. No rain on the roads. Let's check with Kim to see how that is impacting your drive. Good Monday morning. Good Monday morning. I'm not going to yodel for you because I can't do that either. Uh, but very impressed, Rhonda. Uh, right now, we're going to talk about your commute as uh, you head out the door this morning. Some construction has started overnight while you were sleeping. So here's what you need to get around over on I-75. The northbound on and off ramps right at Jocelyn. Those will be closed until next Monday. Another ramp closure also on northbound I-75 is the one to Rochester Road that will be closed until early November. We'll keep you updated on that when it reopens. But for the most part, your commute is looking great. Let's take a look at the roads with your 1-800 call Sam Trapper shot. This is your commute downtown. I-75 right at I-94. Traffic volumes really starting to pick up. Dry roads and nothing to slow you down in this area. Back to you. All right, Kim, thank you. It is 633, everybody. The UAW and General Motors contract talks have hit a roadblock, and that's bad news, not just here, but really all across the country. It absolutely is. The impacts are growing. Consider this. Nearly 11,000 new unemployment claims are being attributed to the cutbacks at auto suppliers and other businesses that support the auto industry. We're not talking about the union workers or GM, you know. Only companies. here. Yes, yeah, so the big question is ripple effects. Yeah, the big question is where do things stand as we enter day 22 of the strike? Business editor Rob Maloney joining us live now outside the Detroit Hamtramck plant. Rod. Well, Everard, you know, it's been, uh, what, 21 days now to the morning that they started the picket lines out here. Burn barrels burning. The, uh, the, the strike captains have a lot of people out today. They're vocal. Um, and uh, they're taking the momentum from this weekend where the union is saying that General Motors has not been doing a good job in negotiating. They want to have a product here at the Detroit Hamtramck plant. But still, a lot of people wonder what in the world is going on behind the scenes. Two paychecks gone. The $250 weekly strike pay not covering nearly enough. GM losing hundreds of millions of dollars and well-known economist Patrick Anderson saying Michigan's staring down the barrel of a one-state recession. And you also have people with just reduced hours and all of a sudden they don't have overtime or they're not working 40 hours, they're, they're not getting called in. A lot of people in the gig economy are affected now that are doing part-time design work and things like that. The gambit to strike costly, the delicate dance to a deal complicated. 
Former GM negotiator Dr. Arthur Schwartz says this strike is complicated by the UAW leadership's legal problems. The union putting Region 5 Director Vance Pearson on leave Friday because of his embezzlement problems. The leadership is a little bit nervous about uh, being able to ratify and so everything is taking longer. You've got the, you don't have the leadership leading right now. You've got the leadership looking over their shoulder at the membership all the time and wondering if this is going to fly. Center for Automotive Research Analyst Christian Dijic tells Local 4 for all the concern about it taking so long, this could actually solve fairly quickly. It always comes down to the things that are the economics, the core economics are base wage increases, how many employees, what are the product guarantees, what's health care going to be. The things that cost a lot of money, you can't solve one of them until you solve all of them. That is the roller coaster ride of a strike like this. And of course, what she's saying there is that once you get the really tough issues solved, you get them all solved, one of them gets solved nice, get them all done, you can end the strike very quickly. And so the belief right now is that the big issue is plant allocation. What is GM willing to do with that? This thing could settle Friday and settle tonight. We're just going to have to wait and see. Reporting live in Detroit, Rod Maloney, Local 4. Righty, Rod, thank you. It is 636 now, and we are following several stories from all across Metro Detroit this morning. Yes, we are. Stories out of Warren and Orion Township, but we do want to begin here in Royal Oak. That's where this man has been arrested in connection with making threats to bomb several local churches. 33-year-old Adam Laird is facing charges of falsely reporting a terrorism threat. Last week, nine churches in all received these bomb threats that bombs would go off during Sunday services. This morning, a judge has set Laird's bail at half a million dollars. All of those churches he's accused of making the threats went forward with their services on Sunday. In Warren, an investigation is underway this morning after a deadly crash on 696. It happened Saturday in the southbound lanes near Ryan Road. Police say a 29 year old man from Westland stopped on the freeway and got out of his car, and that's when a second driver hit the man. Right now, they're trying to figure out why that man got out of his car in the first place. We're told that alcohol, they do not believe that it was a factor. And fire crews put out a large fire in Orion Township. It happened in the area of Silver Bell Road in Gallagher. This was around 3 o'clock in the morning. Several fire crews worked to put out the flames. However, the fire did extensive damage to this home. No word yet on what started the fire, but thankfully no one was hurt. All right, time now, 638 on your Monday morning. And there was a heartbreaking theft. Jason Carr joining us now with details on that. It's something that cannot be replaced. Local newlyweds still high off their honeymoon get devastating news. Their wedding photos stolen and now they are pleading for your help.